Okay. My job was to keep a very eye on that bone orchard. They say I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style. Besides, the room's protected by two security systems anyway. If I remember right, I was at the street side saloon at the time it went down. I'm just an innocent traveling man. So if you're out of ammo, it's time I hit the trail. <laughs> I can't say I particularly care for your attitude. I can't say I care for your beard. But you don't see me complaining. Wait a minute. What do you mean by two security systems? Hmm. Does it mean like uh, that the door is closed and you need a car key and also the camera? Maybe? I mean the security cameras and the ID card. Yeah, and the ID card reader. Exactly. I reckon even a cowpoke like you knows about those. Yes, well, what about the fingerprint activated locks on the evidence locker? On the evidence lockers. Yeah, exactly. Fingerprint activated locks? What kind of newfangled doohickeys are those? He's not being very helpful. He's not that good with machines or with following orders. Everyone's got their weaknesses. Now don't they, Mr. Prosecutor? This one seems like trouble. Okay, Miss Wright. It's all yours. My job was to keep a very eye on that bone orchard. Okay. How exactly did you keep an eye on the evidence room? I just made sure that nothing moved in the security camera monitor. That room's so still, even time dies in there. I was just the caretaker who interred the recording. You interred them? Widows of nothing aren't that useful. When the time would come, I'd erase the tape. If nothing unusual is recorded, tapes are to be erased every six hours. Each time I'd erase a tape, it felt like I was erasing a part of my life. This guy has a flair for the, for the dramatic, but it isn't going to do him any good. So, in actuality, you don't physically enter the evidence room. I said I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style. And why is that? But you made your rounds on the day of the crime, right? No, he didn't. Ain't you heard a word I said, partner? I told you that ain't my style. Um, I'm afraid I don't understand. No, Desperado, I know. Let's rules get in his way. No Desperados, I know. Join the police force. So, Officer Marshall, on the day of the crime? Just between you and me, I didn't set foot in the evidence room that day. There was a rubber glove stuck in the victim's locker. Do you know anything about that? Sorry, partner. Can't say I do. I haven't been in that crypt in weeks. How does this guy avoid being fired? Besides, the, roo the room is protected by two security systems anyway. But it's more than that. In actuality, it's three. You used to be a detective. So you used the, the evidence room in the past, correct? Right? Of course. Back in the day, my locker was a gold mine of evidence. And yet, you didn't know about the fingerprint locking mechanism? Sorry, partner. I ain't good with machines. I couldn't even tell you how a bike works. That's quite... Uh, incredible. 
The sensors on the locker handles cannot be seen. It's well known that some detectives are unaware of their presence. Hmm. Now that he mentions it, Detective Gumshoe said something like that too. At any rate, it doesn't seem that this is relevant to the crime. Can't you tell us what you were doing when the crime took place? If I remember right, I was at the street side saloon at the time it went down. What were you doing in a place like that? I was eating spaghetti. Not even angel steak lunches can beat that parlor's Van Gogh's pasta. Do you mean to tell us you abandon your police duties to eat some noodles? Not all desperados eat tacos, partner. That's not what I meant. I hope this has at least taught you a lesson. That's strange. This is an Usually where Edgeworth says This is usually where Edgeworth says Did you not want a raise this year? Hmm I'm just an innocent traveling man So if you're out of ammo, it's time I hit the trail Okay Out of ammo, Officer Marshall? That's right, partner or, as you call it, evidence. If you plan to pin me to this crime, then you better draw. Otherwise, you're just wasting my time. My steel horse is waiting to carry me back west into the sunset. <sighs> One thing seems clear. Despite being responsible for guarding the evidence room, the witness doesn't appear to have seen anything. Texans. Don't take orders from anyone. Everyone knows that. Here's the thing. He have, he have been in that room and we know that. Because of the fingerprint that we found. Right? Apparently, your superiors don't. Okay, I have a trump card up my sleeve. So I best keep my cool. Before I use it though, I better up the ant. My job was to keep a wary eye on the... Okay, where do we have that? Marshall's fingerprints. Exactly. At the time it went down. I don't know if he was in there when it went down. Let's see. Okay, good. Officer Marshall. Doesn't it strike you as odd? That is, you being called in to testify like this? After all, you weren't in the security room at the time of the crime. And yet you drive me down here? Explain yourself, partner. It's quite simple. You left a very large trail behind at the scene. Or to be exact, a handprint. Listen real good, partner. Like I said, I'm the caretaker of that crypt. I pay my respects, that is, make my rounds about once a month. It's only natural my fingerprints would be in there. I only wish it were, officer. But you see, your fingerprints were covered in blood. Witness! What's the meaning of this? Your blood-stained fingerprints uh, were at the crime scene? The blood was wiped away. However, a luminal test clearly revealed this. Well, Officer Marshall, 